Hello and welcome to another tutorial from AKCP. Today we're going to be having a look at connecting a sensor uh, to the web interface of the uh, Security Probe 5E. Now once you've connected your intelligence sensor to one of the eight ports on the back of the Security Probe 5E, the first thing you'll need to do is navigate to the web interface which will bring you to the summary page. Uh, once here, the first thing that you'll need to do is click the Sensors tab at the top of the page. OK, and here we find ourselves on the Sensors page. Now you'll notice that the Intelligent Sensor ports are listed from 1 through to 8, and you can see that on port 4 I have a dual sensor. Now this dual sensor monitors temperature and humidity, and to get to those options we'll go right ahead and click that particular sensor. OK, and here we are inside of the uh, port 4 sensor settings options and right now you can see that we're on the temperature port 4 um, so what you can do in the sensor name is you can actually change the sensor name to something a bit more original so we'll just change that to temperature in office okay and then right below the sensor name we have our options to set our notification thresholds um, now you can do that one of two ways you can either grab one of these uh, blue triangles and move them around on the uh, thresholds bar uh, to adjust your notification thresholds <coughs> or you can actually enter the digits manually in the boxes below. Now um, obviously once um, once your temperature which is set at the moment the temperature in the office is 27.6 degrees once that passes 43 degrees you'll then get a high warning notification once it passes 53 you'll get a high critical notification and the same can be said for the low critical and the low warning so once we've um, adjusted our settings here on the notification thresholds, we can go right ahead and we can click save. OK, so that's uh, loading up. And here we are, and you can see that that has now saved our new threshold settings. Um, so what we can do is we can actually navigate back to the summary page and you can see that on our summary page if we go to our board if we just click this little plus arrow you can see that it now says temperature in office we have our temperature reading and the current status is normal and now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and have a look at the humidity now we can either go back through the sensors tab the way that we did before or you can simply click on the humidity um, port for name in the uh, sensor information box so we'll click there and uh, when that page loads back up uh, you can see straight away that actually takes us back to the sensor settings page uh, only this time we're on humidity uh, and exactly the same thing we can do we can adjust uh, the notification thresholds we can change the sensor name so again we can change this to humidity in office and what we'll do just to demonstrate is on this one we'll actually take the uh, sensor into a high critical status so I'm going to move the high warning down below the 55% threshold and again I'm going to move the high critical down below the 55% threshold as well uh, you can see that the digits have all automatically changed in the threshold um, unit boxes and we can go ahead and click save okay and it's now reloaded back up uh, and when it reloads back up, as it has done now, you can see that already the status is in high critical on the uh, sensors page. But what we're going to do again is we're going to navigate back to the summary page, as this is the page that you will see as soon as you log into the web interface. And you can see straight away the humidity in office is on a high critical status. Now when you mouse over the high critical, uh, the red high critical button, you'll see that you've got a couple of options here. And what we want to do is we want to acknowledge that we've noticed that it's gone into high critical. So we'll very simply click the acknowledge. And just like that, there you go. We've acknowledged that it's gone into high critical, um, which means that the uh, software won't keep sending you notifications all the time because you've acknowledged that it has gone into high critical status. And that's the very basic setup of a sensor within the Security Probe 5e web interface.